Question 13. An element Y reacts according to the following sequence. First step, burn in oxygen from white solid. So all the elements, after they burn in oxygen, they will form white solid. So therefore, this one is too general. They will all form oxides. Aluminum oxide, calcium oxide, magnesium oxide, and phosphorus oxide. After that, the white solid, all the oxides, reacts with hexia, form a solution. Solution means it's clear, means the solid dissolves. So we know that aluminum oxide, calcium oxide, and magnesium oxide, they all will react with the acid. Okay, because calcium oxide and magnesium oxide is the uh, basic oxide. You react with acid. Aluminum oxide is amphoteric. So this one will react. Phosphorus oxide, it will not really react with the acid, but if you undergo hydrolysis, the phosphorus oxide will hydrolyze in the solution and form phosphoric acid. Okay, therefore, all the four white solid will react with the acid solution, form a clear solution. So means the second step also quite general. Now, after that, the solutions added with the sodium hydroxide. After sodium hydroxide added, only the aluminium calcium and magnesium solution will form white precipitate so you will form aluminum hydroxide calcium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide so only these three okay after that when sodium hydroxide add in excess is form solution means the white precipitate dissolves means soluble in excess so we know that aluminium hydroxide will soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide okay the equation is this aluminium hydroxide with excess of hydroxide will form this compound and this compound is soluble in water for the calcium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide, it will not really uh, dissolve or soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide because when the hydroxide is small, it's going to form more precipitate. Means it won't dissolve. Okay, so answer confirmed is A, aluminum. Thank you.